it worked. Yay. I was like <laughs> standing up in case I needed to go reset the router. Um, all right. So I have tried going live this morning and it just keeps saying, um, unable to go live because of my internet, but my internet is strong. So here we are. Hi friends. Today is podcast launch day. Um, if you have been waiting on it, technically our podcast launches at noon, but if you want early access, I put it in the description of this video and, um, or if you drop or me, I can send you links for everything. All right. Uh, I, I slept awful last night. Uh, the dogs, we had horrible storms. So between the storms, the dogs freaking out, do you guys have animals? Do they freak out during the storm? I always know it's going to be a bad storm when the dogs are going crazy. So then the storm kind of quit. So I let them back outside because they're barking like they wanted to go out. And then <laughs> it started lightning again and then they wanted to come back inside. So it's like, I also, have you ever been on, if you've ever been on progesterone, it makes you zombie tired. Like, um, just tells your body you're pregnant. It makes you really tired. So you take it close to bedtime, like you're supposed to take it around eight o'clock. I forgot to take mine last night. So I took it at like one. Well, Lola had picture day this morning and she kept trying to get me up to get her ready. <laughs> and I was like, like, I can't even see Lola. Like I could not, my eyes felt so heavy and, um, progesterone is just like a hormone. But, uh, so it has taken me a little bit to kind of come alive today. Uh, but she was so cute. She still wants me to do her hair and makeup for picture day. So I did that this morning. Um, also go to like, look at her in the mirror and, um, that I see myself behind her and I'm like, well, at least my kids look cute. Uh, because I, I look ridiculous. All right. I used too much of this. So we're going to go down our neck. Okay. Skincare. I use Palma Ferris skincare. I absolutely love it. Um, it is an all natural skincare. It really changed my skin. Um, I love finding products that are all natural and have, I think that the world has so many ingredients and things that are powerful and potent. And, um, I also think that your skin absorb, I don't even think it, it's fact, your skin is your biggest organ and it absorbs within 30 seconds what you put on it into your body. And so I, um, just like to put cleaner products wherever I can. So, um, this helps firm and tone your skin. And if you've ever wondered, like, I don't know what products I need. I do have a skincare quiz as well. Oh, your middle daughter started K4 today. She was so excited. Oh, so sweet. So the plump does not help with sunspots or dark spots. Um, but the Palmafera Pure or the Palmafera Rose Oil both have Palmafera in it and, um, which is like an orange, uh, extract and it does help with sunspots. Okay. This is a vitamin C serum. It's just going to help even out skin tone and brighten my skin. These are the two products that I use before I do my makeup. I also, if I didn't take my makeup off the night before, I will use like a race pre-cleanser and cleanse my face and then actually cleanse my face. So pre-cleanse and cleanse, but your girl took a nice shower and face wash and shaved her legs and all the things yesterday. So good morning, sunshine. Good morning. Okay. Today we're going to do a giveaway. Um, so share this video, comment shared below, and I'm going to give away a bottle of plump. So, um, this is my ride or die. I use it. Ooh, and I caught it. Ooh, look at there. Um, absolutely love this. And so pick a winner for today's video. Um, going to try and do more giveaways just in general. I personally love, uh, giveaways. I think they're really, really fun. Um, and I think that they're a great way to, to grow your business. Um, and so if you tag a friend that you think might like this video or you share this video, you'll be entered. 
Can I show my nails? I went and got them done yesterday. Uh, so the picture, I guess they had like more of a matte and it looked really cute. I'm not sure if I'm digging it. What do y'all think? Yay or nay? I don't know. There's like, I felt like I liked it until Lexi came home. She's 11. And she was like, hmm, no. And I was like, well, excuse me? And she's like, mm, no. And so then I started like questioning. But I also have to remember, uh, she still plays with Barbies. So, and like has uh, a blanket with monkeys on it that she sleeps with every night. So, um, My whiskers are coming back strong. They just are. So disappointing. For all of you who have hormone issues or PCOS or anything like that, like, or just genetically. My whiskers coming in strong. Um, so I love dermaplaning, like shaving the fuzzy parts of my face. Um, but those big, big old thick, like goat like whiskers, pluck those guys. Um, they just gotta get them out of there, but it will, it'll like drive me crazy. Um, Anybody else drop a goat emoji? <laughs> I don't even know if there is a goat emoji. Maybe there is. If you, I will, I like have tweezers everywhere. Carline, um, all the places because it does, it drives me insane. Uh, and I'm like, I have stopped at a Dollar General before and ran in and got tweezers because I'm like, I can't handle driving like this for another hour before I get home. Like I have to. Oh, I gotta get these. All right, we are gonna use the Touch Glorious. Um, I love the texture of this. This is their matte primer, uh, but it's really silky. And so we're gonna use this today. And rub it in, rub it in. Okay, so podcast launches in, I don't even know, in an hour, but, um, you could go ahead and download it if you want. Um, I have the link in the description of this video. Also, if you'd rather watch us instead of listen, um, our, it is on our YouTube channel. So it's a couple of swans YouTube and you can actually watch the video and of us, like, I guess, hanging out together if you like to watch videos um, instead of just listen. So, <sighs> Yours grew out of a tiny mole and it's maddening. So you keep tweezers everywhere. I feel ya. Like, ugh. So being in the car is when you see the goat hairs the most. It is. Um, use the Smooth Fit Pure IPI and it has helped a lot. I need to look into that. Um, I haven't gone and gotten any more lasering done. Um, so maybe that would probably be part of my problem. Uh, but I need to. Do my kids say goat all the time? It means the greatest of all time. No, they don't. I should tell them. Uh, no, they haven't. Um, they do say certain things though. I feel like the older that they're getting, like just these interesting phrases where you're like, hmm, okay. Like, especially Christian, he'll like say certain things. Um, and he's been doing like a lot of working out, a lot of fitness. He's in uh, JROTC right now and uh, just different things. And so he is like so confident and um, just like, <laughs> oh, what did he say last night? He's like, uh, yeah, I'm awesome. I mean, I'm so awesome. Like, uh, I don't know. He's just his confidence. I was like, man, I need confidence like that. Um, okay, we're going in with. I love the way this looks on me. This is the eyelet. It's like a medium, um, medium to full coverage foundation, but it only takes a little bit and it has, uh, anti-aging skincare in this foundation and it, it just gives like a really pretty 
look. So I shake it up really good. I pump out the little thing. This is the shade Eyelet. Um, but seriously, the first time I used it, I used too much. So I'm using a drop. If you need more, you can always end up doing more. Um, but I don't think I need more. So just kind of dot it on and then I'm by stippling, I am distributing it. Cancer is so funny. Confidence is great. I feel like the world will do its own and uh, being in high school is hard and enough people will like say something that as a mom, I'm like, I'm not gonna be the one knocking confidence over here. Like, So our first podcast is just like a welcome, welcome, get to know us, who we are, how we met kind of thing. Our second podcast that dropped today is about vacationing as a grown up, like with kids, how it's different, why do you vacation, what's it about, and, um, and our most recent experience on vacation. What brand foundation is that that I'm using? So this is by Unique. It's called, it's Unique Touch Serum Plus Foundation. And I have the links in the description of this video. I'm going to try and tell you which brand I'm using for each thing just to keep it really simple. And then also if you drop the word me below, um, it will send you an automatic message um, and with everything. You just subscribed? Ah, thanks. I'm so excited. Um, my face is thin. Thanks, Karen. Uh, have I lost my weight? No, not recently. Um, but I mean, like in the last two months, I have lost uh, like 15 pounds. But up until then, I had gained 10. So technically, I'm like 170 this morning. So um, I had creeped into the 160s last week, but you know. I don't know. I've had no sugar. I we've been doing keto. Why I am up a couple pounds, but your body fluctuates. So basically, I just am trying to do all the things. Um, but yes. So uh, I it took me about a year to get down to one seventy five from two seventy five, and that was I got there about at Christmas, and then I creeped up and gained some more weight, and so now I'm back down. To 170 so technically I've lost like 105 pounds in the last 20 months so um all right a valor this is just a cream stick foundation I like it it's a full coverage and I feel like using kind of a lighter serum -y thing but using this um just in my t-zone and my under eyes And then I'm going to use some setting powder. This is just an easy, uh, brighten you up. Kind of option. I'll come in closer so you can kind of see the skin texture. You can see I need to pluck my eyebrows. Um, but you can see what it looks like on skin close up. Kidoki. Um, <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm looking for a setting powder. It's not the right shade. Here we are. Going in with, this is from Ophir. This is in the shade, um, that's not the shade I want. I want medium. Both of those are the shade fair. I only like that when I'm like really um, pale. Okay, shade medium. Has like a nice little yellowy glow. Where can you listen to the podcast? Um, the links are in the description of this video. You can listen on YouTube, you can listen on Spotify, on Apple, basically anywhere, wherever uh, podcasts are found. How's Claudie's going? It was going so good until we went on vacation and I haven't, I, I kind of came back from vacation really behind 
on work and then like things that need to be submitted. Crazy, but it's time to work on content for Christmas right now and get it submitted for brands. And so I just, um, that's coming up and then, uh, just regular stuff like the clothing thing, the, um, new hair tool launch, the new palette from a fear launch. I just had a lot of things to kind of catch up on. And, um, so haven't figured out like how to get back in the swing of Pilates. I need to. I tried one day this week, but they didn't have any classes open that day. So I was like, go figure. Um, so that's something I've got to work on. It's hard to get back in a groove like after you've been out of it because I'd gotten in a good rhythm. Um, and then right now my kids just have so many activities like that they have to be at every day and picked up from different places. And it's just, it's really hard. Um, you have PCOS. Uh, also, what foods have I been eating in order to lose? It's so difficult. You're going to hate this, but pretty much um, most things really yummy. Uh, I every now and then will eat some fruit and that's like a splurge. I don't eat bread. I haven't had sugar. I haven't had soda. I haven't had soda in gosh, maybe like three in, since Faith has been born. I don't know. Um, cut out, uh, so I drink unsweet tea with like, um, stevia or Splenda and then, um, drink coffee or those buy drinks. They're only, um, five calories and, uh, really low carb. And so currently we're doing like low carb, but I'm having a hard time. Um, so about six weeks ago, I started those, um, semi-glutide shots and it has really helped as well. And I started progesterone, but it's like messed with my taste. So I don't have a ton of things that taste really good right now. And that's been kind of my hardest thing. So but up until that first like hundred pounds, uh, I did Modair's trim. I did Modair's collagen. Um, I love their digestive enzymes. They're only $15 and they don't get like enough credit. But if you were to take a digestive enzyme, it like helps with bloat and absorption. But if you take like Modair's digestive enzyme and you open it up and you put it in like a pudding cup and then stir it in just a few minutes, like half the pudding cup will be gone because it absorbed. Um, and that's like what it does when you take it in your body. And so the amount of bloat and like feeling and looking like you've gone down a size when you take those is so good. It doesn't technically help you lose weight, but if you struggle with like digesting food, um, so I love the digestive enzymes and the probiotic from Modair. So good. Um, so those are kind of, but recently the last six weeks, so I'd gained some weight, um, and, uh, like 184 kind of thing. And so I had gained weight and then she put me on those. Now I'm back down to 170. So it's like 14 pounds. Um, and it's the first time I've lost, but I am on those shots currently. And I've been on them for like probably seven weeks now and then, um, taking hormones. So, and then working on getting my vitamins. But before that I was just doing the Modere stuff and, um, but I hit like a, it did really, really good for me. And then my hormones have just been so wacky that, um, I've hit like a eight month plateau of either being the same or like gaining 10, losing the same 10 over and over. And so I'm currently like, I wore jeans yesterday. And so they're like a size 13 and I'm 170. If that just kind of helps you for like size reference, I've been getting a lot of messages like your face doesn't even look the same. You don't look the same. You look too skinny. Da, da, da. And I'm like, well, technically I'm still obese. So, uh, but I understand that your face changes a lot. Um, but I just want to feel and I do feel better. Like I feel like getting, I think, I guess it's the hormones or my iron or vitamins or all of it combined. Like I'm starting to feel like myself for the first time in a long time. You're so sick that you can't do the pain. I had one night where, um, like my actual stomach, like I was like, is my pancreas bursting? Like it hurts so bad. Um, but for the most part, I'm just nauseous, like, um, and then foods don't taste very good. So but I have never been like an over eater, um, kind of person. And, but if I don't watch what I eat, like really, really carefully, I can easily gain like 10, 15 pounds in a month. Um, and so this is, 
help that, you know, you're not really hungry. So, and it's helped my like insulin and everything. So that's the biggest part is like being insulin resistant. And then also having the PCOS, like the hormones are helping manage that and get that under control. The semaglutide's helping manage my insulin and A1C and everything. And so now I think things are like working that as long as I continue eating healthy, I'm hoping to have good luck. Um, all right, here we go. I used Ophir's deep bronzer today. And then this is the Precisely My Brow pencil by Benefit. I love it. Um, If you have PCOS, you could also have the mutation of MTHFR, which could mean you need methylated vitamin B and folate. I do have MTHFR. And um, yes, and I, I take an MTHFR uh, support, which has that in it. Don't realize how many things that you're like, ooh, this really affects your body. Um, <laughs> my doctor was like, uh, you're kind of a trifecta for um, this being like a difficult journey um, because these are things that are all working against you. And I'm like, oh, yay, <laughs> yay. Which I've had a few people um, message me asking like what doctor I'm using or whatever. But if you are local and you have questions, she's been so great for like the hormones and like deep dive medical testing kind of thing. And so um, if you send me a message, then I can give you her information as well. I know it's like hard to find somebody. Okay, here we go, brows are done. I love this. And if you want to do more of the, um, what do you call it? laminated brows you could put that in as well but for today we're just doing this oh you have you ordered Ophir's uh setting powder you have shallow eye sockets and you're hoping it helps um it really does if you struggle with the like area to where you can kind of see it I mean you can tell after I put it on it makes such a huge difference um so let me know how it works for you if you like it also all the brands that I work with have incredible, um, love it guarantees, exchange and uh, refund like policies. So if you ever try something that you're like, hey, that did not work for me, because I'm aware not everything works for everyone's skin type. Um, if that ever happens, then swap it, try something else. Okay, going in with the shade Apricot. Okay, I got some new lipstick stuff in from Tarte today and it's so cute. So we're gonna do that. I'm also gonna use um, palette number nine and do like a really warm, anybody else feeling like fall? That's what I'm feeling. Just feel the fall vibes. So I'm going in with this like butternut color. Such a pretty palette. This is going to be an easy everyday kind of look. So this palette is from uh, Unique and it's the Addiction number no. 9 palette. Okay. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of this green, just a tiny bit. I'm putting green on the outer corner. I wish, no, it's 100 degrees outside. You wish it was fall. It's so hot. It's so hot here too. It's the same way. Um, so, but as long as I'm inside my house, I can't tell how hot it is outside. 
And then I will dress, wanting to dress for fall, and I go outside and I'm like, er, change. This is not gonna work. Okay, going in with this color right here. And taking what was on my brush and kind of blending. Same thing. And if you don't like the shimmer, you could totally have left that part out. You could even go in with a matte if you want matte. I just really like shimmer on the eyes. I think it makes everything pop. Your eyes be popping. Yeah, so I love the idea of sweatshirts. I love wearing them. I love like athletic clothes. Um, I love fall clothes. It's just it's so hot. Like, it's unseasonably hot, it feels like. All right, here we go. We're going to take this and put a little bit of that green underneath. Skirt. Underneath my lash line. So, if any of you guys are going to hop on the podcast and download it, all the things today or listen. Um, there are two available. And if you leave a five star review, bless you. Um, because the way it works on Apple or on Spotify or all the things is when someone leaves like five stars, it tells Apple like, Ooh, people liked this. And because we're brand new, there's no way we're going to be on the like charts, uh, without people's help. And so tell a friend, tell your mother, tell your aunt. Um, tell my mom <laughs> uh, all the people like oh leave a review and uh like it um that will help us a whole bunch because it's just like a numbers game you know like how many people download how many people listen how many people um heart it like it all the things okay simple easy eyeshadow look Okay, we're going in with the new Unique Mascara. It's called Quadra. It's a primer and a serum. So it lengthens your lashes uh, over time, makes them stronger, makes your lash cycle longer. And then it's a tubing mascara. So you really only need one, maybe two coats. Uh, another thing about this is it has little tiny rubber bristles on one side and long bristles on the other. So you want to start with the longer bristles. Work your way up. Okay, so I leave for Nashville in the morning. I have not packed yet. I also scheduled a teeth cleaning because um, that's where my dentist is. And so I was like, okay, well, while I'm down there, but the only time they could get me in was eight in the morning. So it's going to be an early day, but I'm going on the pink lily retreat and so excited to see some of my friends, the new fall line. They're bringing all this stuff with them. Um, I think it's either the top 20 or top 30 sellers are all flying in from all over and uh, it's really neat being in this space. Um, hang on. I've got to like reposition myself. <clears throat> it's really neat being in this space for a few years, um, now. And that a lot of people that I met when I worked with different brands or when I originally started with Unique or through hair or through different things, like I had no idea my path would cross with so many of the same people over and over again to where genuinely so many of my friends will be there. And, uh, um, I just can't wait to see everybody because you stay connected online, right? Uh, but a lot of my friends are all over the country. And so I'm really excited. Also, my first uh, trip last year, um, I'd never, I'd gotten invited to the other ones. 
um, but I didn't go because I was nervous. <laughs> I get so nervous with people. I get so nervous with meeting new people, feeling like, what if I don't know anybody that's there or whatever. So when I found out last year, I had one of the friends I already knew was going. I was like, okay, I'm going to go. She's like, you just need to. It's so fun. And I had such a blast and I actually knew a lot of people that were there and then made new friends. And so we've kind of stayed in touch throughout the year. And now this year I'm going in not feeling like, oh, I don't know anybody. And I am actually really excited about it. Like, um, I don't know. So now I might get hives in my car for like 20 minutes before it's time for me to walk in because I'm nervous. But uh, I am going to go and I'm excited. So use the long bristles on the, when you first like whip through it, then you're going to use shorter bristles afterwards. And that's just going to comb through. I also got a little bit on my lid, so I'm going to use a little spoolie um, and I'll get, show you how I get that off without messing up my makeup. I'm just using that rubber side right now just to kind of get those as long as I want. This mascara also has fiber in it, like little tiny fiber, so it lengthens your lashes, which I think is really cool. So it gives you a little extra length than what you actually have. I just use a spoolie and like flick off anywhere that I got mascara that I shouldn't have. Happens to the best of us. Okay, cool deal on these. I uh, just got these from Tarte and it comes in a bundle. And so um, here's Playful and Moody. And then here is Passion and Desire. Uh, but I'll show you these. They are, I had a lot of people ask yesterday um, what I was wearing in my Hair video and so I was just gonna show you so here's the shade playful uh, this is not the color I was wearing because the lipstick isn't uh, dove into this one's the shade moody and then but here's the one that I had on it was the shade pa I can't tell if it's passion or passionate I think passion it has like a stamp on top of it so okay so this is what I used and um, the gloss is so glossy so if you like a good gloss this is beautiful okay so I take the shade it's just a lipstick so it's a lipstick and a lip gloss in one which I thought is really cool so if you want links for this drop the links below I've got links for this as well comes in a bundle uh all right so here's your lipstick really hydrating lipstick and then I'll show you what I did to kind of get it. You know, I'm picky about my stuff. So I took that color, which is a little plum for me, I guess. I just like it when it has a little bit of something light in the inside. So I took Unique's Naughty Biscotti. And did that with it. Almost tried putting that at the end, like in the bottom. Okay, I loved the way that that turned out. And then, um, so if you have that color, pop it in the center of like any lipstick. And then here's your lip gloss.
a wedding ring. So what you're seeing, like whenever you uh, are online, it's mirror reverse. So like, this is my right hand, this is my left hand. So it's just my wedding ring. So uh, it's just flipped. So I'll meet people in real life sometimes and like my nose ring is on my left side. But a lot of times they'll be like, did you switch it? I thought your nose ring was on your right side. But what you see as the right is actually the left. So crazy. Um, does the gloss stay on? It does. It's like really, or all day yesterday. Um, it's a really cute high gloss. Uh, I just, I don't know. I think it's a really cute color. So that's kind of how I got the color that I got yesterday. Um, and I, I love it where the center of something is a little lighter than, um, the edges. It's like not too extreme. It doesn't look like, um, uh, <clears throat> it doesn't look like a wow, glamour or anything. It's just nice, subtle. Anywho, uh, all right, you guys, if you have questions about anything, shoot me a message. Be sure you share this video or tag a friend and I'll pick a winner here in a few minutes of a free pump by Palmafera. And um, Skincare's Palmafera Unique Makeup was a combo of uh, Unique and Ophir today. And then, but if you have any questions, you can send me a message and the links for everything is in the description of the video. And the podcast is available. All of you guys can have early access to the links in the description. Download it. If you like it, give those five stars. would be amazing. And um, I hope it makes you laugh. I hope you guys tune in weekly. We're going to drop a new podcast every Tuesday. And um, But really, I, that's kind of our goal. Like, I hope it makes people laugh, smile, kind of escape from everyday stresses, and then also talk about things that just, you know, are like real that we all go through. So, um, anywho, bye guys. <laughs>